Hello my lovelies, how are you? It is TKD Gal here, aka Tammy, and I am here with, as you can tell by the name of this video, China Glaze Holographics Nail Polishes. Review. Okay, so let's jump right in. First of all, um, I went and picked up one at Ulta. I picked up um, strap on your moon boots okay and I Instagrammed a photo of it so it's on Instagram follow me on Instagram and um, I ended up taking it back uh, well because at Ulta these polishes are $14.99 yes $14.99 so I was just like okay no we're not gonna do that um, I went into Sally and Sally sells them for $9.99 so okay so you're saving like five bucks or four bucks whatever um, but then Sally has the uh, buy two get one free promotion going on this month so the way I calculated it to justify it in my own head was that okay so if I bought two polishes from Sally which would have came up to twenty dollars and you get one free so technically I'm getting three for about six fifty uh, six fifty per bottle that's my logic and I'm sticking to it okay anyway <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys what colors I got so let's start out with infrared which is kind of a um, I would say this is kind of a, a dark magenta color and it definitely has you know that hollow effect going on I mean they all do and I'm going to talk about that in a second um, this one is astro hot which is kind of a silvery pink color and I have swatches of all of these so and I have the lighting a little bit differently because I want to try to show you guys the hollows as best as I can with this um, for this particular video and this one I haven't worn yet there's no pictures of this one on Instagram galactic gray so this one is kind of a it's a gray it's like a brownish gray if I can describe it that way uh, a brownish gray so it's definitely the main color is gray but it has like this kind of brownish iridescent -y kind of effect going on alright so I swatched them for you so we have infrared now let's see what I can do to get this hollow to show uh, well not too much you're just gonna have to trust me that they're there okay <laughs> and this is astro hot and this is the galactic gray okay um, okay, so, the, I, I like these first. I want to say, yes, I do like these, and, um, I might get one more, maybe, but I'm kind of done, at least with this collection. Um, the thing that I notice about these hollows is that, you know, they look like, under, under normal light, they look like regular polishes. So, you know, if you are the type that, like, can't, wear like bold you know outrageous colors to work or like the super intense hollows like the color club ones and you can't wear those to work you could probably get away with these because unless you're standing in direct sunlight you won't be able to tell that they're holographic okay so which is kinda good oh there it is see it's sitting right here like I can see it <laughs> um, so the thing is is that when I was putting these on um, the formula it, it dries almost instantly <laughs> so like I use when I paint my nails I use like the three stroke method so the I um, paint the two outer sides first and then the middle and it kind of smooths everything out right no that doesn't work for these because by the time I get to the middle and if I want to like smooth out an edge or something it's already getting very tacky and almost dry so you really have to um, paint fast, <laughs> number one. And number two, you tr I, I just try to get it right the first time when I'm uh, polishing it because going over it, it just it doesn't work. It, you see brush strokes and, you know, or if the polish doesn't go on evenly, you have like these kind of hollow spots on the nail and everything. Um, see and the thing is you know I'm so used to using like the OPI 
I'm used to the OPI brush, okay, so the wide brush, you know, and I'm also learning or figuring out that the formula for the OPI is, you know, you paint your nail and it kind of smooths itself out, like it kind of does it for you, but with these, you, you have to put a little bit more effort into how smoothly you paint your nails, if that makes sense. Um, I guess I'm just trying to say that um, you can't be sloppy with this because when you when you go over it, which is this is how I found out because I was experimenting. And I'm looking at my nails like, oh my God, who painted my nails? Like a three-year-old? Uh-uh. So the thing is, is that when I painted my nails and I'm like, okay, well maybe it'll smooth out on the second coat. No, I could still see brush strokes and everything and spots where it was a little bit less polished and more and spots where there was more polish. Like it wasn't even. User error. I'm not trying to say the formula's bad. I'm not. It, user error. Okay, it's all on me. I just, you know, I need to adapt. Okay, fine. So that's really what I have to say about that. I mean, I do like them. I do. I, if if I had the opportunity, because there's an, a light blue one, you know, if I find one for less than $10, I will pick it up. I have no problems with that at all. I like them. I think they're great. Um, the thing, the other thing that I noticed about these polishes is that I forgot that China Glaze has that nail hardener in their in their polishes. So when I paint my nails, I generally use this Nail Envy as a base coat. And with this is a nail strengthener, and the polish has a nail strengthener. Okay, my nails became very, very brittle because they were so hard and cracked because they had two nail hardeners on them. So, because, you know, I'm wearing it, I've been wearing them all week. And I've been wearing them, and my nails just been like, like cracking, like just breaking off. Like I look down, and there's like a a quarter of my nail is gone. And then I noticed that it was happening on like the majority of my nails. And I'm like, what is going on here? So, you know, I start, you know, I'm thinking about like what I'm doing. Is it, you know, are my nails dry? Did I not wash? You know, I'm going through all this in my head, and I'm like, wait a minute. The base coats and the nail polish both have hardeners. I don't need that. So that's what we learned. <laughs> um, just use like a regular, at least for me, just use just a regular old base coat and you know if you're going to use the china glaze and the ch put the polish and then I also just found out that most people say that it's okay to use a top coat with these holographic polishes because there's this thing that you know the top coats will dull the hollow effect and things like that. No. So, because um, without a top coat, it chips very easily. But I mean, there's no top coat. So, what do you expect? You know what I'm kind of, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I wore one every day this week just to kind of see. And like the next day, I saw chipping, and I was just like, okay, this kind of sucks. So. I did my little research and everything and you know some of the YouTube nail gurus on here you know I asked them what do they normally do and they told me that you know they don't find that you know hollows dull with a top coat so I'm going to put on my nails this galactic gray color and I'm definitely going to use a top coat when I do I will Instagram a photo of it so make sure you guys um, check that out and like and whatever um, but other than that, I think that's it. Um, I do have some more holographics coming. I just ordered from eBay. Um, I think her name is like Beauty 2007 or something like that. But she has all the Color Club holographics, which are like super intense. So I'm waiting to get those. And I guess that is it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing and following me on Instagram. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.